hi guys so I'm making this video to do a what's on my Android um, an updated one so starting out I have the Galaxy Note 4 from T-Mobile and uh, let's get started on my lock screen so As you can see from um, the top here from my first screen I have all of these apps right here the first app I have is audible which is one of my favorite apps um, I love listening to audiobooks and stuff like that so yeah um, this oh my god so awesome uh, gray 50 shades of gray his point of view awesome um, the man in 3b pretty good but yeah these are all of my audiobooks then I have this thing here um, a widget it's just a placeholder now podcast addict and I have been heavy 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 into podcasts lately and um, my favorite podcast ever is the truth this one right here oh my god this this one it is pretty freaking awesome and if you're into like scary stories and stuff like that I'm very much a, a horror junkie so I like horror movies and sci-fi and stuff like that HP Lovecraft and Edgar Allan Poe that's my thing I love like horror stories and horror movies um, and this kind of gives you that that little bit of horror that you want you know I mean it's not scary scary but yeah um, another one of my favorites is we're alive which is a zombie story and uh, it goes back to six years ago and you start from there and it's so many to choose from and it's a really good story so I highly suggest that one um the no sleep podcast is pretty much um, a horror station as well um, I believe this goes back eight years I'm not gonna go all the way down because that's pretty far but this podcast is pretty great also um, Earbud Theater is actually one of my my second favorites. Okay, this one is pretty good. 9/11 was a good story. Uh, Super Bad Day, The Creaky Stairs, um, The Sounds Below, Be a Little. Love that story too. Um, so yeah, I highly suggest this one. I'm listening to The Shift right now. So yeah. Um, then I have Anything Ghost, which is like, I believe people call in to tell about their ghost stories and stuff, so, yeah. Then I have Astonishing Legends, which is a podcast about urban legends and stuff like that. I'm really into that stuff, don't ask why. Um, Audio Smut is kind of like... It's, it's a story about finding love and it's about sex and you know that that stuff it's a pretty good it's pretty good I listened to one um, on the truth because the truth featured one of their stories and I really liked it so I started following them so yeah um, then I have bloody good horror which is kind of like they talk about horror movies and, and stuff and I like to listen to this stuff because I'm a horror junkie so um, one of the movies that I really want to see next is Sinister 2 the first one was really good to me um what else the gallows was pretty fucking stupid in my opinion it was so stupid to me but yeah um, Insidious 3 was freaking awesome but it was not as good as 1 and 2 Poltergeist was really good. Um, what else? Unfriended was good, but I wanted more from the story. Like, 
I wanted more horror, more, more blood and stuff, you know? There, that's what I like. But, yeah. Anyway, um, then I have Cast Macabre, which is, uh-oh, which is about, yeah, yeah, just stories and stuff. Same thing that I like. Um, this is my favorite, The Raven. I love Edgar Allan Poe, so, yeah. Um, Criminal, which is, uh, I believe it's an ongoing story about, crim oh, oh, I see, okay. It's about killers and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty good. I think I've listened to, like, one of these. I'm not sure which one, but it's new, so that's why, um... I haven't I don't know much about this one but it's new um five minute fears they don't really make things for this podcast anymore but the ones they have are pretty good and scary but they're about five minutes long each and if you're like me you're gonna go through them quick and yeah like yeah um dead as hell another podcast uh, about horror bloody stuff and yeah earbud theater I just showed y'all that um, the ghost chronicles is pretty much about ghost stories I believe people call in on this one also to give them ghost stories but I'm not sure don't quote me on that I just started following this one so I don't know much about this one Escape Pod is pretty much a sci-fi type of HP Lovecraft type of thing. Um, I'm new to following this one as well, so I haven't listened to anything on this one yet. But I hear that it's really good, so yeah. Um, HorrorAddicts.net. Again, it's horror stories because... Yeah, I know. I'm weird. I know. I know. Um, Knife Point Horror is pretty goddamn scary, and I don't suggest any little kids reading this one or anything, because it's pretty goddamn scary. You know, um, they're weird and scary, so, yeah. The last podcast on the left, podcast on the left, is kind of like comedy, comedy horror type stuff yeah they're pretty good um midnight circle i think i've listened to one of the yep i only listened to this one and i think i i don't remember why i stopped but it was pretty good i didn't finish it but i'm pretty sure i will um this one midnight marinara i have not listened to any of these yet this is also a new one that i just found um Clyde Barker, which is the guy who invented Hellraiser and Candyman and all that stuff. I like to listen to this because I'm into Hellraiser and I like to know more about it, like why he created a world like this with the Cenobites and it's, it's weird and I, I want to know more about it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, the Heart little pod of horrors the lion cat cast which is about um my favorite comic book saga i love saga if you did not know that already saga is i love it i love saga so i like to to um kind of listen to this podcast whenever i finish an issue and yeah they're pretty damn good so i highly suggest this if you're into podcasts i mean not into podcasts into a saga the truth no sleep um american horror story we're alive true murder and the i think it's welcome to night Vale. i haven't listened to anything from here yet either so yeah those are my podcast stuff then in this folder I have games and uh, it's Candy Crush Soda, Family Guy, Zombies, Heads Up, which is pretty good to play with a significant other. 
um, Monster Dash PlayStation and uh, this is what I use sometime if I don't feel like signing into my PlayStation just yet damn it sign me out I'm not gonna do this right now but um yeah if somebody tell me they added me so I can add them or I check my messages to see if somebody wants to play me in something or if they invited me to a game or something like that so yeah um uh oh then I have uh, photos, be funky, pick, play, post, text, gram, photo grid, insta, follow, repost, whiz, gif, keyboard, and magisto, gallery, twitter, which I do not freaking use, I'm not even signed in, I just put that there as a placeholder. Um, then I have gmail, instagram, facebook, and play store, and then of course you see this cute ass picture of my daughter and me next side I have um, a picture widget of my daughter now my period widget Google Hangouts Dropbox settings and then I have a plus and a minus folder in my plus folder I have the clock um, my files calculator maps Evernote and SNote then I have in my minus folder eBay, Amazon, Hulu, Starbucks, PayPal, and Netflix. Then I have my flashlight, active apps, my Citibank app, um, which is my bank, YouTube, Chrome, and mobile hotspot. Then on this side, I have Comic Vine, which is a place I like to go to to get updates on new comics and stuff like that and old stuff and yeah um if you're into comic books i suggest this site for you so yeah utorrent which is what i use for torrents and stuff youtube gaming now this is a new app but i kind of like it a lot um it has nothing but like gaming things on it because um, I'm a gamer if you did not know that and uh, I like to watch sometimes to get you know info on new games that I might want and stuff like that um, I have a 3ds I have a Nintendo 3ds XL the new one I have a Wii U and I have a PlayStation 3 and I'm about to get the PlayStation 4 so yeah I'm pretty much a heavy gamer if I say so myself so yeah then I have music and this weather widget thing um, it has been extremely rainy and this is usually accurate so shit um, it's supposed to be raining and it's raining right now uh, anyway, then I have my geocaching app. I absolutely love geocaching and uh, it's pretty fun. So, yeah, I'm not logged into that. So, yeah, another geocaching app. Then I have my People Smart, which is something I use for like phone numbers, addresses, stuff like that. Um, then I have World Star, and y'all know what World Star is. Then I have Unforgiving Gamers. And I pretty much come on here for information about Simpsons Tapped Out because I'm very heavy into playing that. Um, I also come on here for information about PlayStation, um, computer games. I'm not really into computer games anymore, but yeah, they have the information on here. The Wii U, the 3DS, um, I love Call of Duty. I was looking for a kill zone. Um, topic but they don't really talk about kill zone like that I love kill zone but yeah it's one of my favorite sites my AT&T which is what I use for my internet MTV which is what I use for my um, screen fix I'm pretty into scream and stuff like ooh they got new episodes of awkward Okay, but I'm pretty much into this stuff, so I love catfish and stuff like that, so I have all of it here. And then I have Kick-Ass Torrents, which is a torrent site that I use. 
and then I have phone contacts evolve SMS and uh, this is like for my um whatever I don't it don't matter but yeah that's what I use for um, my messages and then I have my camera and in my app drawer I have antivirus ad block mobile uh, ad watermark screen recorder which is what I'm using right now banking my banking folder I have AdSense for my YouTube account calculator Citibank don't know why my period tracker is in here and PayPal Chrome, Contacts, Etsy, Evernote, Evolve, SMS. Whoops. Um, fonts right here. And this is what I use to change the fonts on my phone. Um, then I have Icon Changer, which is what I use to change my icons because I have comic book icons. Um, then I have my games folder again, and my GameStop app is right there. Geocache again, Google Goggles, Hexlock, Kind Master, Music, My Files, and in my music folder I have Hulu, MTV, Music, Netflix, Play Music, Ringtone Maker, Samsung Milk Music, Shazam, Video, Zedge, and U Turn. Samsung Milk Music sucks, okay? It comes with the phone, I can't take it off, so whatever. Um, then in this app again, it's photos. Photo Math is a pretty damn good app. I don't have any math to show y'all how it works. Podcast Addict, Reading, which is uh, all my stuff, my Wikipedia, Audible, and Amazon Kindle. I don't really read on my phone anymore because um, I have an iPad and I read on that. So these are all my books. This is one of my favorite creepy pastas here. It's pretty good. I might start reading that. But uh yeah. Settings, beautiful widget, calendar, calendar status, which is what I use up here to um do this. This little thing right here. Have the calendar up at the top and on my lock screen. Um clock. Dosecast, Drive, Gmail, Google, Google Settings, Google Plus, Maps, and Navigation. Then I have Shopping, which I need to stay the fuck out of. Amazon, Best Buy, eBay, My AT&T, Phone, and Starbucks. Then I have my SMS folder with uh, a skin and uh, the regular messages and shush. Um, shush and la la la. <laughs> shush is an app that you use to turn your ringer back on in case you forget it um then in my social folder i have facebook groove ip which is something i use to um change my phone number if i don't want someone to have my number that's what i use hangouts insta follow instagram kick messenger pages manager skype Damn it. <laughs> Skype. Uh, Studio, Tumblr, and Twitter. Street View, which is new, but I love it. T Mobile, Bloatware. Um, just the regular T Mobile stuff. Simpsons tapped out, tapped out. Track View, Wikia. And I love to read about creepypastas again, so I have that. American Horror Story, Orange is the New Black, and DC Comics. World Star and again YouTube Gaming. And that is it, you guys. If you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know and I will answer them below. So, yeah.